Thank you, folks. Um, yes, the world lost today uh, one of its greater heroes of all time and an absolutely remarkable person in his gentleness and in his concern for not just his own people in Africa, but for the people of the world. Um, I was the convener of the anti-apartheid uh, group in Queensland from um, 1986 to well, 1991 when we tended to file up a bit. Uh, and there was a conference in, um, in uh, Melbourne in 1989, uh, in July, at which um, the absolute determination to have uh, Mandela released uh, was put. And this was one of the a series of global conferences, world conferences, that really put the pressure on the Vorsa regime in, uh, in South Africa. And of course, Mandela was freed in 1990. And uh, you know, South Africa has never been the, sa the same since. An important point was made um, this evening when uh, looking at his life. There could have been, with the with the collapse, or not the collapse, with the removal of the, of, of the apartheid regime, there could have been a gigantic civil war, a bloody civil war in, in South Africa. It's because of Mandela and his people uh, in the uh, African Na National Congress and people around the world, particularly his neighbours, uh, Samora Michel and his... his his wife later, Grazza Michel, who was the wife of uh, Samora Michel from Mozambique. Um, these people made it possible for what would have been an absolutely terrible civil war in South Africa. It, you know, things were tough but it never occurred in South Africa. While it may be still a very hard place to be, a very poor place, at least it is holding together because of the spirit of not only Nelson Mandela, but of the people around him and the people who are prepared to continue uh, his gentility and his determination that people are equal. Thank you very much.